Hey guys, it's Kelly, and today I'm bringing you a pretty fun video, and I'm going to take you through some cars on this car lot and show you my favorite must-have features for a mom. I want to keep this one fun and to show you some of my favorite technology features. So especially if you have a used car and you haven't seen some of the latest and greatest in technology, that is what I'm going to show you today. If this is your first time joining me, hey, I'm Kelly and I'm the car mom. I review cars for moms and for families. Please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. All right, let's get started. We have a 2020 Kia Sedona. This is Kia's old body style minivan, but the mom features are there. So let's get into them. So one of my first features that I have to talk about is real, really like a bunch of features. And that is any of the crash prevention features that are found on some of these newer cars. Crash prevention technology is absolutely amazing because of course we care about the crash ratings of the cars. But to me, if I can avoid the accident, that is just as important. Now, moms are distracted drivers. Not because we wanna be, not because we're on our phones, we're not trying to be safe drivers. But if you've ever driven in the car with two screaming kids, you know what I'm talking about. We can get distracted. So crash prevention features kind of give me a little bit of more peace of mind. So my favorite must have features are things like blind spot, where if a car is in your blind spot, it'll put a little light right there to let you know. And then if you turn your blinker on, the car might alert you in an additional way as well, either by beeping or vibrating the steering wheel. Another feature I love, love, love is anything that has automated braking. So frontal collision warning or rear cross traffic alert, anything that is sensing the cars around you and then actually will apply the brake if they think that you're not going to be able to stop in time. Those two features right there has personally saved me from plenty of potential accidents. And I think they are a must have for really any driver, but especially us distracted moms. Okay, I couldn't be the car mom if I didn't give a nod to the sliding door that can only be found on the minivan. Now, I'm not I'm not a minivan mom yet. I may be one day, but I have to say that these sliding doors are awesome. And on some of the newer minivans, they get even better. You can normally control it from the keys, from the door, by obviously opening up the car that way. And some of the newer ones even have a kick to open. So there's so many ways to access the car. And what's good about sliding doors? Um, you don't have to worry about your kid in a Target parking lot slamming in to the cart next to them. It also reduces the risk of little fingers getting pinched. It's easier access. You don't have to worry about a door like not opening all the way and you having to get a pumpkin seat out of it. There's a lot of benefits to sliding doors. Um, comment below if you think every car should come with sliding doors or at least as an option. So, can only be found on minivans right now, but you gotta love it. Okay, two more features that I absolutely love in any mom car are two things to keep you cool. The first one being sunshades. Specifically, sorry. Specifically ones that are easy to do, unlike this. Specifically built-in sunshades. There are a couple of aftermarket sunshades out there. Honestly, I just don't feel like they work very well. There always seems to be a blind spot or like the sun's coming at the one part that the sunshade's not in. I find the built-in ones to be a lot better. They're less of a projectile risk. Love everything about them. Second one is ceiling vents. Ceiling vents are especially important if you have a rear-facing kid like I do. I've got two rear-facing kids right now. I'm in the middle of Missouri, it gets hot, it gets humid. So with the ceiling vents and my rear facing kids, they get some air circulation versus the fence, if the scents are just in the back of the center console, you may not be getting that circulation. So love ceiling vents. Okay, now let's take a look at my current demo car, which is this Volkswagen Atlas Crossport. Let's take a look at some of my other favorite features. Here are some other features I love. Let's start with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. So if you don't know, you can now, in almost every vehicle out there, plug your phone in or do it wirelessly in some models, and it will display what can only be described as your phone screen. I love this because it makes the infotainment system so much more user-friendly because, well, it looks familiar. This is what my iPhone looks like. I can do things that I normally would on my iPhone, but more safely because I can do them with my car. I've got my podcast, I've got my messages, I've got my phone calls, and I even have my maps. So instead of fumbling around with Volkswagen, navigation I can literally just use my navigation it's what I'm more comfortable with Apple CarPlay to me is fabulous you got your audiobooks I can even take zoom calls obviously not with a camera but like I could be talking on zoom through my car love it love it love it love it next we've got a center console that is a decent size now this is really important to me because as a mom I come with a lot of stuff. And you know what I always forget? Just about everything. So I like that a center console can be big enough to fit my essential. So this is a Volkswagen Atlas Crossport. A big center console just does it for me. Here's everything that I've been able to fit inside my center console and I still have room. If you're wondering about how I organized it and what actually goes in all of these bags, I've done a whole video. I'll link it in the description box below. But like if the center console isn't this big, I'm just, I just can't be bothered. Love a big center console. Okay, one of my all time, and I mean all time favorite features is keyless entry. Here's how keyless entry works. You've got your key. You don't need it to enter. It's right in the name. 
So basically, if you have this key, this could be in your diaper bag, in your purse, in your coat pocket. Your keys are anywhere. They're anywhere. And then to lock and unlock the car, all you have to do is put your hand on the door handle. Amazing. You may never know where your keys are. If you're anything like me, I literally have to take out like 17 bags just to lock and unlock my car. But like it's somewhere, whether it's my laptop bag, my pump bag, my lunchbox, my purse, my coat, my diaper bag. I don't know where it is. I'm just telling you when I leave, my car locks. When I go in, my car starts. Change your life. Next feature. I'm going to plant my flag on this. If I could only have one of these features in my car, except for the crash prevention features, it would be this one. And that, my friends, is a power tailgate. A power freaking tailgate. I would never buy a car without it. Let me show you how it works. Quick and release. Opens up. Now, picture me. Busy mom. Baby on the hip. Another baby here. Backpack. How am I supposed to close my trunk? There's a button. Power tailgate. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know what you thought about my picks, and if I miss anything, please comment below. Again, subscribe to my channel. You're not going to want to miss any of my car-related content, and I will see you all next time.